my name is Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK and welcome to YouTube Tuesday. Today I want to show you how I make paper scraps to use uh, when I wrap around canvas. Now the last time or in one of my other videos what I did show you was how to create a really nice piece of artwork by simply wrapping a piece of copy paper around a canvas. You wouldn't believe that this is just an old scrap. In another video, I did show you how to take one of our wonderful stencils and turn it into a quasi stamp on top of the old scrap. Um, and the other thing I wanted to show you was these wonderful mounts. So if you did decide that you wanted to make a canvas, check that out. Aren't they great, these little mounts, you see? I've got this wandering gallery in my house and, uh, and I just put the artwork wherever, wherever I fancy it. And then when I get tired of it, I, wee, wee, wee. when I get tired of it, I move it somewhere else. They're, they're great. They're detachable. They work beautifully. Uh, and they're made in Germany. So today I'm going to show you how to do the backgrounds or how I do the backgrounds. You see, these are just papers. Paper wraps around canvas best. And I've got a whole stash of them here. I did this in pretty much one sitting. If you have a look, you've got loud ones, you've got solid ones, you've got scrappy, arty ones. I can stamp straight onto these as well. I mean, you know, this is so easy. And all this is, is copy paper and dye-based ink. So I want to show you how we arrived at all these lovely pieces of background paper. First of all, I'm going to use, I'm going to need my glasses for a start. What I'm going to use is one of these, um, you know, like poly bags that we use. And I'm just going to slit it, <laughs> slit it on one side. So just put my hand in there, slit it on one side, and then slit it along the bottom as well, so that I can open it. <laughs> so they're good, they're made in Britain, these ones. <laughs> okay, okay. Right, so what we're going to do is cut it along the bottom. These are good quality, aren't they? Funny that, when you want it to um, stay together, it usually falls apart. Right, so now we've got our opener. That's a really good idea. And then what I want to do, and you've got choices now, the first ones are always gonna be the brighter ones. All we need is a spritzer bottle and some ink. So here's my suggestion, get, get yourself a clear space. Now I'm using Distress, uh, Distress Ink. It works really nicely. And I can, I've got choices now. Um, I'm just going to drip a couple of colours here and there. So what we're using here, squeezed lemon. It depends entirely what I want to do. I really like peacock feathers, a good colour. That will do. Shall we put a bit of bright pink in just to see what happens? Keep your eye on the bright pink. Right. Okay. So we've got that. And this is concentrated now. If I close this, right, then we're just going to move it around and you'll see on its own, all you're going to get is dots, which is what we don't want. So we'll lift that off. But what we've done now is we've removed some of the ink over here. Now let's, let's add a bit of water now. Just spritz it. Right, so we've got the water. And then what we'll do is we'll go back. Now watch it move now. See how easily it moves around. And we just run it around. We don't want circles and blots. But if I now, if I lift that off now, let's see what we get. I'll take a piece of copy paper and I'll just start by, you know we're going to get blots on this one, but that's okay. It's a start. And then if I lift this up, you watch. So it's a bit blotchy, but I reckon it's a good start in place. So that will do for one. And we'll add a bit more water. Okay, I've still got all the ink over here. So I'm going to add a bit more ink. Do you see why we've got the sandwich effect now? Right, and then I'll take a bit more copy paper. And here we go now. So now I'm going to pop that one in there and start again. Sometimes if you add a bit of water on the back, you'll see it will start to move more easily. Right, now let's have a, let's have a look at this one. Now we're getting there. Look, fantastic. I know you say fantastic, she must be mad. But actually, this is what you would use when it dries. It's perfect for a background for a stencil. 
So that's it really. And then you just go on and on and you add water and you add ink and you get yourself, you just keep going and you sandwich more colors and you'll see they get lighter. And then as they get, as they get too light, then you just add more ink and off you go again. See, so just pop that in there. And let me show you another one. See, beautiful as a background. Let me show you another trick. If I add a few more, I'm just going to add a few more drops. You go and put the kettle on while we have a play. Right, we're going to go again now. Now this time I'm getting a bit more radical. Right, so the first ones, right, okie dokie. This is going to be a right powerful one, isn't it? Should we just do that just to spread it out a little bit? This is a red one. See how the red predominates? But I reckon this would be lovely. Wouldn't it be great if you could just pull? Do you know what? If you did that on a gel press, I bet that would work as well. Right, so we'll lift this off. Now this is going to be soaking this one. So we'll get our colours going. And what I worked out was, right, if I put that through there now, right, we've got lots of colour in there. But I don't want one that's that dark. Look, I don't want one like that. It looks like I've had an accident. So what I'm going to do is add a bit of water to the back. Let's add a bit of water to the back. And then I'm going to pull a print off the print. So if I do this, watch now. When I do that, that's when I get my really arty backgrounds. Do you see? So I can, I can control. I mean, a little, I went a bit mad on the pink on this one. That's the right old hoo-ha. So what I want you to do, right, is not look. <laughs> if I think that I've got too much pink, you know what? I can change it. Let me go in here and let me just see what happens. I'm sure I can change it because this is just basically now I'm using this as a transfer piece, aren't I? Let's see if I change this, whether I get more blue going through now by doing this. Yeah, well, you can see it already, can't you? There we are. So less of the, less of the pink on that one, but this is going to make a fantastic background. And now let's try a bit more yellow. I, I'd like to put a bit more yellow on there. So this time I'm actually using some more yellow. Once I get the colors right and I'm happy with it, then I can use this almost as a kind of a, a transfer sheet. And all I'm doing is make it's copy paper. It's nothing expensive. So you'll see now, as you start to use the sheet itself, you get these beautiful effects. And this is all that I'm going to use then in the background of the stencils. And you just add a bit more water every time. And you're using the copy paper underneath as the ink carrier. Right, you see? And now we're getting into the flow. So we got there and all the time you do this, what you're looking at is the canvas. So let me just take that for example. And if I take this one, you can see exactly the canvas will sit beautifully behind there and I can control what colors I put where. So if I want it more vibrant, for example, I can go back to this one and then I can, you can see exactly the stencil will sit beautifully with the yellow behind the words. So that's all it is really. It's just a question of just picking up that color. And you know what the best part is? When you're, when you're done doing the job, then you close that and you've got more fantastic uh, color there. So this one, for example, as wet as it is at the moment, that will be beautiful as a background. Even that carrier will make a fantastic background down the road. So I'll just pop that on there. You watch, I'm going to get more colours out of the back of this. So it's just copy paper and ink. That's all I use. And you can see here, I'm already getting beautiful colours there too. So do you know what it's about? It's about playing. And when you close that, that then will stay like that for the next time. I just pop that. This won't dry. And if it does, I'll open it up, add a bit of water and I'm good to go again. So I'm not wasting that ink. And that's how I ended up with a fantastic selection. I did these last night and then I let them dry. Some of them I did that last summer. I don't want to throw it away. It's going to make a fantastic background later on. Some of them, there's more water. 
That one more water, that one less water. This one very washy, this one just one colour. But you can see, I love working with scraps. And, uh, and to me it's a personal challenge to take a piece of old copy paper like this and to turn it into a nice piece of artwork. And that's what I enjoy doing. So I hope that you've enjoyed this. I hope that it has been useful. I think using that poly bag as a carrier is a good idea. And, uh, and now you know how I got the background. So I hope you enjoyed that. Do, do leave a comment and, uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.